what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? I don't care what you do in life or where you go. Always remember this. Do unto others as you want to be treated. <laughs> Family. This chick named Shekana on Love and Hip Hop. Those were her words, not mine. How do you mess up a Bible verse? <laughs> She was scolding protesters in Atlanta, but, you know, specifically looters, those who decided that they wanted to loot and vandalize. Family, this woman was crying. She was crying like a baby. She wanted the protesters the looters to know that Gucci ain't did nothing to them. In fact, she took it a step further. She said, Gucci's ain't did nothing to him. Saks ain't did nothing to him. And Lennox Mall didn't do nothing to them. These people got family. This woman was actually Ryan, oh, I got to let you see the video. If you hadn't seen it, I will put a link in the description. She cried. There have been a number of celebrities who have stuck their foot in their mouth about these protests, including Lil Wayne, Odell Beckham, Madonna. Madonna had a son. She shared a video of her son dancing to Michael Jackson. Corny. He like he. He just looked really corny and forced. Fam, I just look at it like this. If you really don't know the issues. Be quiet. Be quiet until you do your investigation, you do some research, and then you speak. Because otherwise, you just look stupid. And I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about common folks. I'm talking about these celebrities with these big platforms. Because once they put it out there, it's out there forever. You know, a person who's not a public figure, you know, they can have a regular comment, you know, even public figures, they can have private conversations that are not recorded and they can say you know, what needs to be said or how they feel and it's just between them and the person that they're talking to. But when they decide to go on social media and sound off and don't know the issues, they sound real dumb. This chick sounded like a buttermilk biscuit eating mammy. She looked real bad. Loud, all that damn crying. It's a trip that some people value these material things as much as they do. You know, it's not just, think about it. The irony is this. The people who decided to loot, risking their life and their freedom for designer clothes, handbags, shoes, she's not even any better than they are because she's crying over them. So she's just as invested in these things and she's emotional. Like these designer these brands really have control over some people. 
I mean, they really, they really hold those brands in high regard. Some of them don't even feel important unless they have something on name brand. Let me tell you something. I like certain brands myself. Certain brands are of high quality and especially good resale stuff. I like that. Stuff that has value, that can hold value. That's what I spend my money on. Uh, yeah, I used to spend a lot of money, thousands of dollars on suits, of, you know, Versace suits and stuff like that, Gucci suits, way back though. I'm talking years and years ago. And well, one day I just caught my snap and I was like, man, this is, this is really stupid because I think I, I was trying to, I was trying to get rid of something one day. I think it was a shirt. I had like a, I had like a $1,500 shirt. And I was, I think I was trying to sell it just to see what I could get. And I was told that it was only worth about, I think they were saying something about 40, 50 bucks. I felt like, whoa. That's when I really caught my grip about these clothes. So now, I'm not saying I wouldn't buy anything branded, but it's very rare. I'm more into quality. You know, it's not really about brands because think about it, most of these clothes, really if you think about it, all clothes are brands. Some are just high fashion, you know, high priced but all of them are brands and all of them, well, most of them roll out on the same assembly line. They're manufactured by the same companies and oftentimes the materials are the same. It's just that this one gets a Gucci stamp and this one gets a Poochie stamp. <laughs> That's it. So, you can find quality in clothes that are a lot more affordable. So that's really what I'm about. Like, I don't, I don't really care too much about brands. I, as long as it looks good, I'm cool. That's, that's what impresses me. The name itself don't, it don't really impress me. Definitely not enough to loot or cry. So when I think about that, you know, they're in the same pot. You ain't really no better than the looters. I want y'all to think about something. I want you to remember. Don't ever forget this. This is like, this is very important that you remember these words. Do unto others as you want to be treated. <laughs> no more talk. What the ladies talking about?